is for you. And this is showing uh, the whole toolbar so you can see exactly what's happening when we have an image that disappears on the screen here. And I've got my walleye over here. Um, I've made it pretty big. It's 13 inches by 4 inches, so 13 inches long. And for something this detailed, we're going to have to either, in order for the stones to show detail, the stone's going to have to be very small and the detail of the picture is going to have to be very large to let all those stones in. But here we go. I'm going to go up here, and, or I'm going to come down below, and I'm going to try to stone it. And I'm going to try with the six um, SS stones. Come in here and just hit Apply, and you can see everything disappeared. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that box. Um, to get that back, come up to your top of your toolbar. There's the red X up here, and this is an Undo or Redo button. So I'm going to hit that and bring that back in. And I can tell that I've grouped it so it's not letting my stones be placed, and that's why it disappeared on us. Um, so don't think it's something that you can't. If it's an EPS file and it's clean, you can work on it. Just come up to your toolbar up on top and find the shape tool and hit break group or break all and that will break all those little parts apart so we can go ahead and stone them. Keep it marqueed, come down to your rhinestone down below, hit find your stone size again that you want which is 6SS and uh, go ahead and hit apply. Let it do its work. If it takes a little while, there we go. If it takes a while, it's just it has a lot of work to do to put all those stones in the right place. If you want to go ahead and move any stones around now, nothing is grouped up, so you can come over to your toolbar, hit your magnifying glass, and just go ahead and come in close, as close as you want, wherever you want. Go to your marquee tool, grab your stone, and uh, click on your stone. And uh, let's see here why I'm not getting that. I'm going to go ahead and take it down a little again. Oh, because I'm still in my boundary there. So go ahead and... Uh, like I said, go ahead and bring your your tool and hit your marquee tool. Grab your stone, move it around wherever you want. There's no right or wrong place for any of the stones as long as you have them have them spaced right. To make this smaller again, come down to your minus in your magnifying glass and uh, just go ahead and hit that too. You can also work with these over here. I tend to work with my one over here and this one quite a lot. And then you've got your you've got your walleye ready to go ahead and and send your cutter to you if you want. I'm gonna make my a little bit smaller here. And I wanted to show you this too. If you guys have a bunch of your EPS files ready to go and you just want to stone everything, get them all on here and just go ahead and you've got them nice and clean. They're ungrouped. Um, marquee all of them. You know, do them all at the same time and just go ahead and find what size you want to put to them. Have them be the right size. Hit apply and they're, it's going to do multiples of them. You don't have to sit and do just one design at a time and then come in and adjust any stones you want to or replace or move things around wherever you want. And it's a really fast way of doing a lot of the of the different designs all at once. And then if you wanted to, they were in the same group, you could take and marquee the whole thing, export the whole thing to save on your computer. These obviously, I've got a hockey guy here, I've got a flourish or a, a design here, and a walleye, so I won't save these and export them all in the same place because they're they're three different designs. But then I would just take and marquee each one off separate and go ahead and export that. So I hope you can see my toolbar is a little bit better and that helps. And if I want to go backwards at any point here, you know, I can marquee all this and I can I can go back and, you know, just work backwards if that was the last step that you weren't quite catching. Now when I went backwards I ended up with this this black um, image that I have another video up on that shows how to do that and just come in here to wireframe and you'll see all all the marks are there it just for some reason sometimes when it goes backwards it does that and I'll go back even farther and there it shows your original that is ungrouped and I hope that helps you Terry